All right, welcome everybody. Today is going to be March 14, 2023. This is going to be the recap of the trades we made this morning in the live uh, trading room. And uh, we did make some additional trades after uh, 9 o'clock Central Time. This is going to be Central Time charts. I am in Central Time. So first trade came in long gold. It was a pretty quiet morning. I came in long gold. I did have a level sitting up here at uh, 1918 bought in really thought we were going to get up there because we had the indices that were up indices were strong gold has been following the indices mm, excuse me and um i thought it was going to get pulled up i sat on this trade for almost an hour i got in around i don't know it was around 7 35 7 36 something like that it wasn't going anywhere and then all of a sudden it started coming down. So I entered right over here. As soon as we came in this morning, I had an entry right here with this. This was my target up here. <clears throat> Never got up there. Really thought that we were going to come up and, and hit this first, at least this first level. I didn't project out any additional levels because I was just looking to get out of gold at the first level. But it ended up reversing and I reversed right at this yellow line here. Now this trade, this pattern that was set up over here was what we call an HF1, which is a really strong pattern. And I was pretty confident we'd at least get to um, price level one, but we did not. Then we ended up getting a, um, setting up an, uh, an HF1 short. So I went ahead and I added to my trade on this. And I had a level right down here. Once it hit that first level, I went ahead and got out. And I, I ended up making like six bucks on the trade for these two trades. So made a little bit on that then we came back and we got uh, a pattern on the e-mini S&P let's look at that okay so here's the uh, the e-mini S&P so <clears throat> uh, this was the opening this gray area here is uh, is all gonna be prior to the opening bell once again 830 is uh, the opening for me on the Dow since I'm central um, got a, a setup got a setup over here right around 902 to go ahead and enter in so by the time that i entered i actually entered up here i entered up here on the e-mini s p and i actually had three levels i had one two and three levels that i had uh projected out and had these were actually once this level hit right here it set up two additional patterns which provided me with these two additional uh uh, levels up here so once i entered um i thought was to go ahead and and get out at level one but i really like what i was seeing on the action and when it came up and it started to fail on level two which is this is level two up here um i held it for a little bit longer because it never came down i was still thinking we were going to go up to level three so i held out it didn't take out my first uh, level here i still would have made money but then it finally came up and it hit level two. And this is when it started to fail again. And I decided to go ahead and get out. And this is where I exited. I exited as it started pulling back down into level two. Um, you can see it came all the way back down the entry. And then eventually it did come and hit level three, but I was already out. So I ended up making, what, $459 on that. So the total on those two trades, 465 Okay, so let's take a look at the stocks let's see what we did here all right so let's look at azul that was my first trade today i yeah it was the first trade today azul actually had a nice trade on azul so we entered around uh, my time around 809 80 something like 810 something like that on this little spike up we had uh we had an entry and then we had three different levels setting up over here actually i think we went up to level four but anyway, so it hit it hit my entry. I went ahead and entered. Um, just kind of petered around here for a while. Didn't really do anything. And then finally we took off. We hit level one. I was waiting to see if we'd hit level two. We hit level two pretty quick within a minute. He's a one minute charge. So we hit level two. And I was holding out wondering if we would go to level three. But once it started to pull back and it went back into my level one, I went ahead and exited had a really nice trade. I think I picked up like $250. <clears throat> but then 
which was kind of a mistake. Um, I ended up giving it back because what I ended up doing is we got another setup over here. And I thought, okay, so now I'm going to play it out and we're going to get up to the second and third level again. Get up to two, maybe go up to level three. What ended up happening is um, pretty much after I got in, it was really quiet. And then all of a sudden it flushed and I had no choice but to go ahead and get out of it. Because when I started flushing like that, I was afraid maybe we would lock down and uh, we'd get halted. So I didn't want to take a chance. Went ahead and got out. Ended up losing everything on that plus $130. So I started off my AZ well. I should have left it alone. But I went ahead and jumped back in. Thinking that we we're going to go up to those other levels. Now, you know what? They can still hit those other levels. But it doesn't mean it has to hit it. You know, within the next five, ten minutes, it could take a while to hit these other levels. And I didn't, I wasn't going to be playing that because I was afraid maybe we would go in and uh, we would get halted. So um, you got to be really careful with these, you know, these low float stocks because they do halt. So anyway, um, got out of that, took a loss, ended up losing $130. That was the worst trade. Let's look at the best trade, which was SOPH. Let's look at SOPH. All right, so here's SOPH. Uh, this was the better trade that I made today. I did make some other trades, but I just want to go over the biggest winner and the biggest loser. The other ones made a little bit. PACW didn't really like the action. Got out of that, made a buck. Um, what else? Uh, ONCS. ONCS was a little disappointing as well. I had a really nice profit on that. Ended up giving uh, most of it all back. Uh, which was a big mistake. But anyway, still got out with uh, $3. Uh, but anyway, so on SOPH. SOPH hit my radar kind of late in the day here. This was after 2 o'clock. Um, and when it hit, I actually had three levels. Okay, so it projected three levels, three patterns. So once I entered, I entered right over here as it was starting to go back up. And I mean, it within, these are these are one-minute bars Within five minutes, I mean, it hit like level one, level two, and level three. Once it hit level three, and it was moving that fast, and see, it just kind of halted there, kind of stayed there for a while. I went ahead, and I went ahead and got out and took my profit. So, so really nice trade there. Eventually, you can see what happens. It actually came back down, and then it, it took off again. So, my expectation is, is I may be playing SOPH again tomorrow. We'll wait and see. You know what what the charts look like. See if we can get some early morning volume in there. Um, if we don't have enough volume, probably going to leave it alone. But this was kind of a late. You know this this kind of woke up late for me. So uh, you know I didn't have much time left before the end of the day, and I really kind of almost hesitated to do it because it was getting late in the day. I didn't know if I'd have enough time to hit my levels. But I went ahead and played it. I'm glad I did. Um, so that helped out. Still ended up losing $6. I should have been up more than that because I just I got into some trades I shouldn't have gotten into. So uh, I had a nice profit on AZUL. I had a nice profit on ONCS. But hey, you know, that's the way it goes, right? So it's all about, uh, you know, knowing when to pull yourself back from the uh, table. And usually what happens is usually when I have a really good trade, jumping back into it is usually not a profitable for me. I don't know. It's just, I think it's that greed factor that affects all of us thinking that we're going to, you know, the market was up strong. I really thought that this, these others were going to go ahead and take off again. I was going to get more out of it. You know, sometimes you do, but you know, in most cases you're better off if you have that first trade in the morning, you make money, walk away. Okay. Just step away from it. Um, I know a lot of people like to play, you know, power hour, the last hour of the day. I've been doing a little bit of that. But my best time for even if when I'm trading indices or I'm trading gold or some of the commodities, uh, and it's the same way with stocks, first thing in the morning, those first three hours for me are always the kind of the golden hours. Beyond that, it's just, it's kind of iffy. Sometimes you get, you do really well in the afternoon. Sometimes you don't, but in most cases, the best time to trade is going to be within those first three hours. So me being central time, I'm looking at, um, you know, seven to ten. You know, those three hours tend to be really, really good. So that'd be what? Eight to eleven. Eight to eleven Eastern time. So um, when you're trading, um, 
hopefully you're keeping track of all your trades. I think it's important to go back and look at, you know, the times that you're doing your best on your trades. And I think the majority of people are going to find that, you know, early morning is probably going to be the most profitable time for most of us. Um... You know, so I, I, you, you want to, when you're, when you're trading, you definitely want to keep track. Put them in a spreadsheet, which is what I do. Um, but any way you do it, just go back at the end of the month or at the end of the week and just see if, if you tend to have better, if you're, you know, tend to have better trades in the morning than you do in the afternoon. Uh, maybe there's some out there that do much better in the afternoon. You know, it just depends on your style and how you trade. Uh, what I'm doing is I have, you know, a set of patterns that I look for um, that I've developed. And I have what I call Einstein, and it gives me the levels. And each one of these levels, and as well as the patterns, have probabilities um, that have been consistent over the last 35 years. So I'm really confident with my setups and my levels. Uh, but just because of that doesn't mean sometimes we can get a little greedy and over trade. And just because there's three levels up here and they have a higher probability of hitting, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit and you have to go through a little bit of pain to get up to that, to that third level. And so usually what happens is level one is usually hit pretty quick. Level two can take a little bit longer and level three. And as you go up, I could go up to four and five, depending on how many patterns set up at the same time. As you go up, usually it can take longer. So you, if you're kind of trader that wants to go for those bigger, those bigger runs, you can do that. But um, but you have to put more time into your trade. You have to hold on to it longer. And it's I am a believer that the longer you hold on to a trade, you're just subjecting yourself to more risk. All right. So like I said, level one always pretty easy to hit. Level one, level two. You know, maybe within 10 minutes, but then level three could take longer depending on how far out that level is and the kind of volatility you're seeing in the market. All right, so that's it. Uh, please join us uh, every morning on YouTube. And we uh, it is free for the first hour for everybody to watch as I trade. And I do call out these trades. Uh, so check out my YouTube channel, Innovative Trading Strategies. And I start at 9 and I trade till 10 Eastern Time. It's uh, 8 to 9 here in Central Time. And then I continue on with our paid subscribers. And that's going to be it. So um, join us in the morning, please. I will do another recap tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow's going to be a good day. Tomorrow's being Wednesday. Wednesdays can be, uh, yeah, Wednesdays can be good. Um, best days for me are always going to be, during the week is always Thursday seems to be my best day. But, you know, Wednesdays, you never know, right? Sometimes we all think Fridays are, are not a good day to trade, and sometimes Fridays can be the best day. So, all right, that's it. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you first thing tomorrow.